I've been waiting to leave. Or should I say, Bedechokhale? It's infecting my men. How do we silence kill? or death? What he could be in here. Stay quiet. Your life depends on it. Sit. The parasite has infected your band. Those are its lava. They enter the throat and attach themselves to the vocal cords. They mimic the host's membranes flawlessly. No one can tell the difference. Upon reaching maturity, they mate. Sustained exposure to a particular sound triggers copulation. The resulting larva then feast on the host's lungs, killing it. particular sound. His words. They attack only those who speak a certain language. Not just one. I cannot say which language your parasites are attuned to. But silence is the best way to keep them from laying their children. This contains an herb that they dislike. <laughs> Good. That should deafen them for a while. You have bought yourself some time. Speak. Is there a cure? Once symptoms manifest, lava have already infested the alveoli. At which point, nothing can be done. There is a way to halt the onset, which would prevent infection. in his wake. I could not defy him. The fate of Dene lies in his hands. However, perhaps the Nishia led you here. If my children have upset the Hojun of the world, it falls to me to set it right.
me how to fight it. I hid the answer in a microbe this one carries. It turns the male parasites into females, preventing reproduction. One parasite infecting another. However, it doesn't affect only the parasite. It alters the host as well. Your infection will be contained. But you and your men will also be rendered infertile. That is the price you must pay to regain your speech. That freak show back there. May the work of your children too? A different strain from the vocal cord parasite, known as the one that covers. It acts as the host's skin, providing strength in exchange for nourishment. But I did not know those men were infected. They were forced to serve him. Then steal my research. <sighs> Have you seen one of their vehicles? Be yellow cake. It's captured a convoy they were escorting. Cargo some kind of mineral. What became of it? The metallic archaea. Out ahead! Coming. Oh, my God. 
are their quarry. Skullface is no longer in Africa. The nuclear test was a success. Now they turned the knives on me. Satellites didn't read any test. Neither did seismometers. The detonation test took place five years ago in the southern Indian Ocean. The final test was the opposite. To prevent detonation. You mean? Skullface plans to sell nuclear weapons that he retains control of. It's not like hawking small arms to militias. Indeed. He plans to avoid detection by exporting minerals containing tiny amounts of uranium in the form of metallic archaea. Once on site, the metallic archaea enrich the uranium and weaponize it, loaded onto all-terrain bipedal machines. They ensure any country, armed group, even the smallest terrorist cell, can become a nuclear power. Bipedal. So that's why they needed Huey. A new business to replace the arms business. And Skullface owns the market. The very atmosphere of nukes, anywhere and everywhere, Deterrence on all sides. So that's why he ran a non-detonation test. Yes. Another metallic archaea instantly overrides the criticality generator. It fails safe only he controls. Any such weapon can be deactivated whenever he chooses, regardless of who owns it or their intent to use it. Nukes. Controlled by a man, not a country. They proliferate. Conventional nukes lose all value. Political, military, and economic. The two superpowers become powerless. to stop the epidemic at Mother Base. About the pathogen spreading through Mother Base, what's your opinion? Textbook symptoms of vocal cord parasite infestation. And judging from this casualty list, it is the Kikongo strain. Meaning, Breed of parasite that triggers symptoms upon detecting pronunciation specific to Kikongo. So how do we keep them from becoming symptomatic? Use this. A 
type of Volbachia, introduced to a sample of the parasite. The parasitic bacteria that colonizes the parasites, turning male to female and preventing copulation. You must cultivate more. Thanks to Code Talker, we've managed to put a stop to any new vocal cord parasite infections. We couldn't save those already symptomatic, but everyone who survived has been released from the quarantine platform. Skullface will pay for this. Again with the truth serum? What are those legs made of? Titanium? All the way to the femur. <laughs> Metallic Archaea. Sahelanthropus. Where is it? What? We have to know before his plan is complete. Sahelanthropus is the final piece. W w what are you talking about? If the Soviets break out a mobile, controllable nuclear weapon... East-West relations will be right back at the Cuban Missile Crisis. The Cold War returns to life. As countries without nuclear arsenals line up for what skull faces on. Nuclear weapons proliferate overnight. And on the brink of annihilation, the world maintains its balance. But we know this is all just a shield, a ruse. The cleansing parasites are what matter most. A WMD to eclipse even nukes, and the only one that can still be used. Skullface is the world's greatest threat, and zeroes. The pieces are in place. All that remains is to unveil Sahelanthropus in Afghanistan. They can't activate it without me. KB Zero! The Sahelanthropus is beyond the Soviet base camp, in a lab built by the Soviet philosophers. That's what you're looking for. But I have no idea how he's controlling it. It wasn't designed to accommodate a human pilot. Oh. 
Oh! <laughs> 